Hi, everybody. We are at the Grand Island Public Library, and we are here with Linda Welsh. Linda is, of course, a local artist. Tell us a little more about you. <laughs> well, 100% Bohemian from Butler County in Lincoln, and I met Roger when I was in, well, I was actually working at UNL. I started taking courses from Roger, and I just loved it. I loved his voice. I loved what he talked about and uh, he was my life for the last 40 years. We were so sorry to hear of his passing and uh, you, of course, when he was still around, you were painting and you're continuing now with that art. Give us a little more detail on what's going on here now with your artwork. Well, first I, I do wanna say that Roger, he wanted me to paint. He always encouraged me to be able to paint, to find time to paint. The first year after he was gone, I didn't paint at all. I didn't have the desire to ever pick up a paintbrush again. But then one day I was in the studio looking around, you know, I have to sort out our house and everything. And I picked up a brush and I started to paint and I felt better. Uh, I do still lifes, I do figures, landscapes, and I'm just as happy painting a geranium as I am an ethanol plant. Your art is on display here. What would we describe this as? Well, I called it a retrospective a variety of life because I did pick paintings that go a little bit further back. I do have a painting of the CBS cameraman we had uh, back doing postcards from Nebraska. His name was Izzy Bleckman. One of the biggest highlights that I have to talk about is uh, grandson Henry. He is seven years old right now and before Roger died, Roger asked me to continue to watch Henry to grow. And so he came out of the studio. I decided to uh, paint Henry from photos that I took. The last painting I did was the color study of Henry. And I did the color study in 90 minutes, ala prima, just like that. And it was so magical. It was like, <laughs> you know, can I ever do that again? Tell us one or two other ones that stand out to okay. you. Okay. Well, I can't uh, leave without talking about Boy and Goat. Boy with his first goat, because that's one of the paintings I love. A few years ago, I went into the post office, didn't know the woman working there. Um, I knew her by name, Colette, and she said, would you do a painting for me? And uh, it turned out to be one of my favorites. I love the color in it. Um, I love the sentiment in it. There is just one little thing about landscapes. There was a lot of times I'd be driving home from Lincoln and we lived in Danabrog and I'd be driving home and it would be dusk about the time I was getting close to home and there was this one farmstead and it was just such a, a beautiful moment, the winter dusk, and I always knew that Roger was at home waiting for me. And so it's just one of my favorite paintings too because of those moments driving home and uh, soon to see Roger again. This exhibit will be here the month of February uh, during normal library hours. Very good, okay, Linda, thanks for being here today. Thank you for coming, it was a joy. Yeah, and I had a great time there visiting with Linda. Nice to see her again, and yeah. she's very talented, some great pieces there. Mm -hmm.